folks, Eric here from Skies Off Road Design. So we have a stripped down 9297 four wheel drive F350 strength frame section here and our two inch super duty leaf spring shack reversal. I want to talk to you about the added benefits of installing a shack reversal as well as what having this front cross member up here actually does for your frame. So first I'm going to talk about some of the areas we've seen these frames fail. And for starters, not having this crossbar up here, your steering box is huge so when you're when your truck is trying to steer and you're not moving say in like a parking lot this frame section actually is twisting quite a bit that will lead to a common failure in your cradle and these rivets breaking out we've seen multiple trucks like that in the past and i attribute that directly to not having you know something really solid holding this together when there's not a, a solid piece here the only the only thing tying the front of the frame section together is going to be this bumper and i mean those things are, are pretty flimsy so another added thing we see as well is going to be cracking out of this frame right where the, the 5 8 shackle hole is. Oh, didn't see you there. So let's uh, continue on this video here and talk about some of the benefits of a shackle reversal suspension wise. On these trucks factory, the shackle is in the front of the bumper. The shackle is there to take up the extra length in the leaf spring when your suspension compresses. So when the shackle's in, in the front of the front springs, your suspension compresses your axle moves forward. So when your axle moves forward and you hit a bump, it really doesn't help your suspension ride that much better. Hence why we created another shock reversal system. The benefit to these Super Duty Leaf Springs is the difference in the spring rate as well as they are four inches longer from center pin forward. Uh, another added difference of these compared to the 92 to 97 front springs is that the mounting hardware is 18 millimeter and 5 8 instead of 9 16 front and rear. So you get a little bit more rigidity out of the out of the hardware as well. So let's continue looking on the rear of these and check out the shock liners. Hey there. So what we have here is our low profile shackle hangers. These shackle hangers are specifically designed to work with our two inch shackles. So the difference on why we designed them, here I have a two inch shackle and a three inch shackle for comparison, is the, uh, the top, this top portion of metal here we actually took out because to a factory shackle hanger the mounting hole for for these is one inch up and one inch forward of the factory hole so we designed these specifically to work with our two inch shackles because of the tight bend in the shoulder as well as the low clearance right here to actually get a true two inches of lift so these mount off the factory six holes that are in the frame from your original uh, leaf spring hanger. They just take a little bit of cleaning up because none of these holes are ever a perfect half inch. So the reason we actually designed this one inch further forward is to help with the shackle angle with the Super Duty Springs. We felt it was actually really necessary instead of using just a factory bracket. It actually helps the shackle get a little bit further back when it's installed so that when the suspension compresses it helps that shackle break over and it actually results in a softer ride. So let's uh, move back to the front here and close this up. So uh, to touch on some of the other benefits we've talked about earlier, uh, you really do gain uh, quite a bit from stiffening up the front of this frame horn. And with the, with the front shack reversal cross member, these are pretty easy to install. It really just starts with locating the front hanger off the original 5 8 shackle hole in the four wheel drive frame. The front hanger there, get your measurements, set it, and you remove the uh, solid leaf spring mount bolt ours up there and you pretty much can install your leaf springs and the shack reversal is done. Pretty, pretty uncomplicated for a two inch kit. There's really not much that goes into those. There's quite a bit more that gets involved when we add you know, a couple more into the lift like four or end up um, as far as brake lines and stuff like that. But you know, just this, this kit itself is, is really designed for those that want to level their truck out, thoroughly increase the ride quality and stiffen the front of their frame up. So thanks for your time today, guys.